Folks, this is Bobby Stein. It's Thursday, June 3rd, and I'm heading over to Lakeport. I'm gonna see if we can get a tour of Lakeport. There's the Cow Pen Restaurant. So we'll be there in a few minutes. The Lakeport Plantation House, one of Arkansas's premier historic structures, is the only remaining Arkansas plantation home on the Mississippi River. It was built in 1859 for Lycurgus and Lydia Johnson, part of a political dynasty that extended from Virginia to Kentucky to Arkansas. The house remained in the Johnson family until 1927, when the Chico County Plantation was purchased by Sam Epstein. It was gifted to Arkansas State University in 2001 by the Sam Epstein Angel family. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, is it okay to film? Uh, Ruth? Is it Hi. Okay to film? Hey. I'm sorry. Is it okay to film? Yes. May I ask what you'll be using the footage for? Is it just for personal use? I'm going to put it, I've got a YouTube channel. Okay. Um, so just a little bit about the farm fields. These have been uh, harvested and cotton since the 1830s. Uh, Joel Johnson moved here from Kentucky, uh, part of the westward expansion from... Virginia to Kentucky, moving into Mississippi, Arkansas Delta area. Uh, so he moved here with 23 enslaved laborers and established Lakeport. Uh, the house was not built until his son Lycurgus inherited the property, uh, and the house was built in 1859 for Lydia and Lycurgus Johnson. And they owned about 155 enslaved laborers working about 4,000 acres of property. And the slave quarters, we believe, were about a half a mile down the road from where we are today. Unfortunately, oh, watch your step through here. <laughs> We have a critter that digs. <laughs> um, unfortunately, those quarters are no longer um, there, and there's actually uh, steam piping and electrical equipment there. So unfortunately, that arche archeological record is gone. Um, throughout the house, the house has been restored to look like it would have looked like when the family lived in the house in the 1860s. So there are interpretive panels that you can go through uh, and read. And if you have any questions at all, just let me know and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. <laughs> Um, and you'll, the upstairs will be open, uh, the back porch is open. On the map, there are red doors, and those are the doors that have access to the, out, the outside part of the house for you to get in and out. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Okay. So. There are sound effects in the house. Wow. So you'll hear piano music playing, you'll hear calls. So there are recordings, so you will hear those, so just in case you hear anything. We don't believe the house is haunted or anything. Okay. Uh, but go ahead and help yourself. Right. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you very much. I'll be out on board for this one.
No, I don't. This is a beautiful house. Thank you. Have you been to Belmont before by chance? No, I never went. To, uh, well, I've been there, yeah. Outside, I haven't been inside. Okay. Uh, so Belmont is actually our sister plantation. So it was built uh, by the same architects. You say the second floor is open? Yes, so the stairwell is through the doors right here. Okay. And then the commissary and the kitchen is open as well, and that's available through the dining room server right here through the sitting room door, which is just kind of keep my room over right here, and then I'll the drawing room and the sitting room. The doors and windows being open, it'll help create a cross breeze and it 
does keep the house relatively cool. We have air conditioning on right now, so that's not the same <laughs> as what it would have been. There would have been a cross breeze, um, but it would help keep the house cool. Uh, also, with the tall doors, it means that the windows can also be taller, which means more natural light comes in, so you have more light in the house. And also, finally, to make it look bigger and more expensive. So it look, makes it look like they spent more money on the house, makes it look bigger than what it is, and it's really showing off the wealth of the family. So were they, were the Johnsons, were they part of the, uh, what was the family over at Belmont? The Worthingtons? The Worthingtons. Were they part of that family? They intermarried. So okay. there were, like, Johnson's, like, uh, oh gosh, sorry, I remember, I just stopped. <laughs> One of uh, LaCurvis and Lydia's children married a Worthington. Um, Lydia and LaCurvis's cousins married Worthington. So there was, uh, there were a lot of intermarriage, but it wasn't directly, like, one of this family member's direct children or parents were the owners over there. It was an intermarriage. Cousins, extended family. where dishes would be stored uh, through this door. This is where big slave laborers would come from the kitchen. Oh, okay. So the kitchen is the furthest door on the porch, so you can see. Uh, oh, okay. So you come from the kitchen, walk the length of the porch, and then slave through the conservatory. Here. Oh, okay. So both those doors are open for you, and you can come back through the sitting room door, which has the blue shutters right here. Okay, thank you. Quite a half. 
Folks, this is a beautiful house, well worth seeing. I could have stayed all day just reading the different display panels in each room. Uh, it's open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. with a tour, got a tour starting on the hour. Uh, Saturday, it's open 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is a $5 admission charge, which is well worth it. Uh, I really enjoyed my visit today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. We'll see you next video.